Hi guys, we're going to take a look at this question where we have a skateboarder that is starting from the top of the ramp of four meters per sec, four meters above the ground, and that's the height. And he skates down the ramp, and the mass of the skateboarder is sixty-five kgs, and we have to ignore the effects of friction, like us. Okay, define the term gravitational potential energy in words. Please, please study the definitions. Gravitational potential energy is the energy an object has because of its position in the gravitational field relative to some reference point. 5.2. Calculate that gravitational potential energy of the skater just before he skates down the ramp. So when he's still stationary, right? So right there. So we know that gravitational potential energy is EP equals to MGH. I'll show you the formula. And it's that formula right there, you just jot that down because you do get a mark for the formula. We have the mass of the skateboarder, which is 65 kgs. We have acceleration due to gravity, which is our G, and that's the constant of 9.8. And they have given us the height that he's above the ground, which is 4.5. And you just jot that into your calculator, 65 times 9.8 times 4.5, and it gives you 2866,5 joules. 5.3, state the principle of conservation of mechanical energy in words. Okay, so this is the total mechanical energy, which means kinetic and potential energy you add it together in an isolated or closed system it remains constant or is conserved 5.4 use the principle stated in 5.3 to calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the skateboarder when he reaches the ground at point x so when he reaches he's right here okay 5.4 so we're going to use our top bottom. So we have to have our total mechanical energy. We know that total mechanical energy is EP plus EK. And we have to calculate the velocity. So we have to take top bottom, right? So 5.3 will be look like this. Sorry, 5.4 will look like this. Mechanical energy top equals mechanical energy bottom. It's also in your formula sheet right here. They say initial and final, but it, top and bottom is the same thing. So just to show you that that is the top and that is the bottom. It's very easy to remember it like that. Okay, so what do we have? Potential energy at the top. We've already calculated that in the previous uh, question. And that was 2866,5. Do we have kinetic energy at the top? No. Why? Because he's stationary. Remember, kinetic energy is the energy because of the motion, right? So it's zero. Then when he is at the bottom here, when he reaches the ground here, he doesn't have potential energy. So that is zero. But he does have kinetic energy. So we write down the formula because we have not calculated it yet. So if we do do our little math calculations there, so let's just jot everything in first. Right, and that will give you half. His mass remains the same, 65. Velocity is unknown. So we do our maths there. We take that over, divide, whatever you have to do. Square root your V to get V alone to get 9,39 meters per second. And that is the velocity when you reaches that point. And that's it, guys. See ya.